Does the floor underneath your hi-hat stand look like this? If your hi-hat doesn't seem to be working and you take the top hi-hat off, does it look like this? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to show you some common problems that we have with our hi-hat stand and how to get them fixed. Okay, we're going to start with the parts of the hi-hat stand. On the floor, you have your pedal and the legs of your hi-hat stand. Then here we have the stem. And this is your hi-hat clutch. That's the first thing we're going to look at. If your hi-hat clutch is in a million pieces, let's put those pieces back together. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now your hi-hat clutch is made up of several different parts. You have a stem that runs all the way down, a removable wing nut, two metal washers, two felt washers, and one big metal washer at the very bottom. Okay, if the top of your hi-hat stand looks like this, then you're definitely missing some things. The first thing you want to look for is a large metal washer, and that will slide on just like this. Then the next piece you should have is a large felt washer, and that piece should slide on just like this. This felt washer acts as a cushion for your bottom hi-hat. Okay, let's reassemble our hi-hat clutch. The first thing you want to do is take the stem and turn it upside down and find where the wing nut goes. Then you want to take the wing nut and screw it into the side like this. Once you have that done, take a small metal washer, turn it upside down and screw it onto the stem. Now the next metal washer goes opposite of the first one. The friction between these two washers will keep your top hi-hat as tight or as loose as you want it on the clutch. Okay, just as a side note, when you use these two metal washers on the top of your hi-hat clutch to tighten or loosen the, your top hi-hat, what's going to happen is your hi-hat's either going to be super loose or it's going to be really tight. It's totally a preference thing, but I personally like mine a little bit loose because I look at it this way. If you tighten down a crash cymbal or choke it, you're just going to get a dink and not get the full tone of that cymbal. Even though your hi-hat is really two cymbals clashing together, I like to have my top hat a little bit loose because I feel like I get the full tone of that cymbal. The next step is one felt washer and you just slide it on like so. If you notice, this hi-hat clutch has a little space here for your top hi-hat. Then you drop your hi-hat on here. Then one more felt washer. And last, the metal washer. Then just flip it over and you're ready to go. Hey everybody, to see the rest of this lesson or for more lessons, please visit the Kung Fu Kick Drum .tv. If you subscribe there, you're not just supporting me, you're also supporting a future generation of musicians that can change the world. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time in the dojo.